when this episode of motoring is over, I want you to go to this website and watch this video clip. It's CTV News reporter Paul Bliss reporting on the Durham irrelevant, I'm sorry, Durham Regional Police Department who charged a guy with flashing his high beams to warn against a radar trap. Now, you remember, we broke this story five years ago when they were, Metro cops were doing the same thing, and we found out it's not illegal to warn people about radar traps. The Attorney General of Ontario said it's not illegal to warn about radar traps. The Minister of Transportation said that just last week. We have a Metro Toronto police officer on camera in uniform saying it's not illegal. So why are they doing it? Well, it turns out what they charge you with is use of alternating headlights, high beams, actually. Alternating high beams is how the law is written. Now, the police are empowered to interpret the law, but they're not empowered to interpret the English language. They can't say, well, that's white, but I'm going to interpret that as black, because alternating high beams means this one and then this one. That's what alternating means. Your high beams don't do that. They do this. Now, alternating high beams law that was put in to prevent tow truck operators from getting the same type of headlights that police cars, fire engines, and ambulances have because they wanted to stop tow trucks from speeding to the scene of the crash so they could get the first hook on the damaged vehicle. It makes some sense. Having a speeding tow truck weaving through traffic probably is not making things safer. But again, that's not what your car is doing. In this particular case, the police officer saw the high beam flash, pulled the guy over, then radioed ahead to find out if there was a radar trap, then he wrote the ticket. Well, wait a minute. If flashing your high beams is illegal, which it's not, but if it is, what difference does it make if there's a radar trap? It's illegal off of his head. Which reminds me, this is Alice in Wonderland. And the lead uh, player for the Queen of Hearts, the Red Queen, that would probably be Sergeant Nancy Van Roy of the Durham Regional Police Department. She said, we have to stop these people from doing this because it might be a distraction to oncoming drivers. A distraction, not like, for example, a police officer jumping out in the middle of traffic and throwing a radar gun in your face. That wouldn't be a distraction. If it is a distraction, there are laws against distracted driving. Charge him with that. Don't charge him with alternating headlights, which he's not doing. I don't understand that. She also said, and I love this part, if you are charged, it is your prerogative to go to court and offer an explanation. Well, in our society, since when do we have to go to court to explain doing something that's not illegal? Now, five years ago, we did, in fact, go to court because Brad Diamond, our host and producer, that's scofflaw, he was charged with alternating headlights. We went to court. I got a haircut, wore a suit, everything, had a 27-page script up there. Uh, Johnny Cochran would have been proud of me, except in that case, <laughs> we were innocent. The prosecutor said, we have no evidence to offer in this case. No evidence? Well, what are we doing here then if you have no evidence? Were we just lucky because the cop didn't show up? No, Brad saw him in the hallway. They didn't want to prosecute because they knew they'd lose. That would set a precedent and their little game would be exposed for the scam that it is. So why are we all people going to the court to fight these? Well, you have to fight this thing because otherwise you're going to have to pay the price. Now, I talked to a friend of mine who recently retired from a PR function within the Ontario government. I said, isn't there something wrong with this? He said, no, no, that's not a problem. I don't mind. They could, police can do that. That's no problem at all. I said, well, it's illegal. Can't, isn't the Solicitor General concerned about this? Or the Ministry of Justice? Somebody can't they do this? Oh, no. He said, no, that got him excited. You can't have the ministry interrupting with the independence of our police departments. So what do you do if you're charged? First, you got to fight it in court, take time off, clog up the court system. And then you got to take more time off, go to the Police Review Services Board for the region of Durham. And then you got to do that for every police department in the country. What is wrong with this particular... Paul, stop the tape. i got to go take a pill.